Hello my friends, after 4 days I finally managed to figure out how to turn on this LED and it is very simple. All you need is development board, a lot of small wires, couple of these and you have to be a bit crazy. But in the end you will get a beautiful breadboard and few minutes of great fun. Beep. I'm kidding of course. Even though it seems like this project, project doesn't make sense, I think it does. First, it is unique. Second, programming this was quite challenging. Third, drawing this machine <laughs> using only lines, circles, triangles and squares was even more challenging. And finally, most importantly, I've learned a lot and I hope some of you will make this for yourself, for your children, grandchildren or for neighbors. I hope you'll learn something by reading my code and I hope you will get more great ideas by watching this video. And I hope you will subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. In this video I will talk about this great breadboard layout. I will talk about these, let's call them modules or PCBs. And I will talk about code. I had this idea for a while, but, but putting so many push buttons on a breadboard was always a problem. And I hate, hate, I hate those. I don't know why, but I hate them. Yes, I know why. They, they are huge, bulky and uh, I hate those. These are much, much smaller. But problem with this one is they are hard to put on breadboard. And also these potentiometers are also hard to use on breadboard. So I decided to order custom made PCBs just for my components and I designed this. Sponsor of this video is PCBWay because they send me these PCBs for free and I'm always very happy with their products and their services. So my idea was to make something which will make my life easier. With this, I can hook up my, I don't know how to call this, this is joystick. This is basically <laughs> five push buttons in this same package. One pin is ground and others are for each push button. So one, two, three, four and press is five. Ground is here, pins, five pins are here. You can see in my example, first pin is not used because first pin is that push button. So now I can easily mount five push buttons on breadboard and now it's easy to connect it to some development board. Same story is with this potentiometer. Two pins go directly in the power rail. So these two pins go directly to power rail and this is 
middle pin which goes to pin on development board. When I pow powering my project with battery I wanted some uh, switch between battery and development board. And here is simplest PCB in world which contains only this switch. But it can also be used for one LED for example. You probably noticed that this breadboard looks very neat. Why? Because I spend lots of time to arrange these little wires and colors in perfect order. I love to use these small wires. I don't know why, but sometimes project looks look nicer on breadboard than on custom PCB or in some case 3D printed. And project itself. So I have eight push buttons left, right, first up, first down. So let's call these segments first up, first down, second up, second down, and third down, third up. This is coordinate of that point, and when when this part is in the target, LED will glow. I can change position of target using this push button and if move, movement is slow I can use this potentiometer to change speed of moving and each segment has its own angle which is shown here and when you move first segment you will also move other two and you will also need to calculate change angle and calculate position of these uh, points let's uh, let's take a look at code i will share code like always you can find it in description so here we have view colors and here are pins we are used. LED is connected to pin 30 and these are pins used for moving our machine. Left, right and these segments. Up one, up down one, up two, down two. So there are three these segments. Some variables to store position of points. and big draw function which will draw so this is pr practically that machine in rectangles triangles circles and and don't ask me what is what And in loop here is logic, so power is analog read on pin 1. This is push built-in push button on pin 0, which will change position of target. And these are for moving those segments. And here is whole logic with which will calculate position of uh, each point on though those segments and checking is is our um, last segment on target so 
so if you want to build this this is this is maybe most important you don't need to use those joysticks you can use normal push buttons and you will hook them like this that's it i hope you watched whole video i hope you like this feel free to leave comment if you are first time here please subscribe i love new subscribers i am working hard to build this channel and it means a lot to me when i have new members in this community also if you want to support my work you can buy me coffee links in description in description you can find parts link uh, links uh, and some other useful information thank you and have a nice day goodbye